everyone, Matt here from Docs Running, and today we're going to do a sub two review of the Asics Evil Ride Speed. So, contrary to its name, it's actually a really nice lightweight trainer that I'm enjoying getting some miles on. There's some interesting components that I'll talk about that are a bit new to Asics, but not really new to the market, but still they're doing a really, really good job. I don't have a lot of specs for this shoe. I, my size 10 weighs in at 9.5 ounces, so I'm guessing probably 8.8-ish ounces for men's size 9, probably mid-7 ounce races for women's size 8. That's not exact. I have no idea. That's just kind of my ge educated guess. Stack height feels a little higher than the Evil Ride 3, but lower than the Glide Ride, so I'd probably guess it's a little over 30 millimeters in the heel, probably upper 20s in the forefoot. It feels fairly low drop. I'd probably put it at about 4 to 5 millimeters, maybe a teeny bit lower, but that just might be my calves, but it's not a high drop shoe so those wanting a lower drop really rocker nice sweet rocker shoe are really going to enjoy this but going back to the ride the flight foam blast provides a balanced level of softness underfoot it's not firm it's a little firmer when you're doing daily miles but it gets a teeny bit softer and bouncier when you start picking up the pace and like i said it can handle workouts it can handle daily training just like a lightweight trainer can um it's probably not the best at going the at the extremes of those so i wouldn't race in this i think people that don't do well with super shoes and want a little more shoe this might be a good workout race option um but for me it's a lightweight trainer that gets daily miles and a little bit of up tempo stuff right again it's it's on the stiffer side despite not having a plate rolls really nicely nice posterior lateral bevel nice small sidewalls on the medial and lateral sides of the midfoot which is really nice not a stability shoe but it just adds just a touch of guidance there to make things a little bit better upper wider toe box uh wider forefoot i should say narrows in the toe box so they said more anatomic not really but you got a little more room here and then it tapers a little quick so those with narrow and normal with feet you might be okay width again is fairly normal nice flexible heel counter but a great lightweight trainer for those that want a little bit more versatile shoe this a little lighter weighter for a variety of uses